Hello my wild and crazy golden ear peeps. It is Ilala and today is a CoverGirl makeup fall look. I am an autumn baby. I love the fall colors. I usually stay more towards the nudes and you know uh, mauves, things like that. So today I went out of my comfort zone. It's going to be bold colors and it's going to be a matte foundation. So without further ado, wackadoo, let's get to it. Okay, so what I have here to start with, I've already done all my skin 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 my skin care. I've done my um, suntan, and now I'm ready for the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation Transfer Fur Resistant. It's going to be another one of those tongue twister days. Fondi Tint Globala Seleka. That's the words, and it's in M60, which is natural beige. See how well I matched it. Shake, 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 like you do with the uh, fingernail polish. I don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf. All right, there we go. Oh, okay. It's not real thick. Not sure about the color. Here we go. Oh, well, and they're all different. You know, they all say, Medium beige, golden beige. I know I'm not golden. I'm more of a neutral. That was, oop, did a whole pump. Well, let's see, you know, I don't know if this is full. I think this is buildable. If you build it, they will come. All right, well, didn't seem too bad. You do darken. Okay, well, let me pull it this way and look up close. Ooh, okay, now that, that is hydrating. Mm-hmm. And if I need a little more, ooh, I got some right here. I can take my finger, go on these little spots here. Cover, cover, cover. But I did also get a um, concealer because I've had some of my audience ask, why, why, what do I have against concealer? <laughs> I don't have anything against concealer. I was just trying to keep down the products that you have to buy, you know, to get your full look. But I think, oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. Oh my gosh. You know, <clears throat> I was going to try their CoverGirl Simply Ageless, and I had tried that, uh, I don't know, right before when I started out, and it was really thick, and it set in my lines. Now, my skin wasn't in as good condition as it is now, but... I didn't want to. I didn't want to try that. I wanted to try something different, and this is matte, so it's not glowy. You know, some of these makeups also change as the day goes on. <laughs> I sure don't want that to happen, but it says it won't transfer. That is a. Uh, I, I should try wiping on my shirt, but I won't. Okay, ladies. So here is what I have for color for my eyeballs. This is True Naked Desert Heat. Look at those colors. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're pretty, and they're pretty pigmented. I tried them on my wrist, so I have to be very careful there. So what I'm going to do is take my three favorite brushes for my eyes for today. Um, this is a flat one. This is a uh, thin one. <laughs> and this is my little corner one. I just don't know what they're called, ladies, okay? so. Let me start with the fluff, because I am going to go in with this color here, right there, okay. So I'm going to put some on there, like this, and ooh, shake it off, and go very carefully, because I'm going on my eye, okay. Oh, that's pretty, and you can go up a little bit. I'm going to try a little bit higher up on my, you know, my... Hood. Oh, these are pretty. I mean, I, I've used, Milani had um, a really pretty palette that was kind of like this. They weren't as um, bold. Okay, so I'm doing, did I get? I do all sorts of cleaning, as you know. Okay, so that is my eye. Now on the corner, <laughs> I am going to try some of this brown here. I tried some of the orange, but it was really, yeah, 
I couldn't even mute it. So I'm going to take my little brush like this and go in there. Fall is my favorite time, going in the corner and then a little bit up to try to, and look straight ahead as I've told you before, to, to try to mask your hood. But I like to get in the where my little fat pocket is there too, and then kind of do a little V. I said, I will clean this up. Boy, I needed some more pluck, pluck, pluck. You don't really see it until you start going in these mirrors. <laughs> All right, so it's kind of like, I, I'm not going up under here anymore because it's hidden when I, you know, look straight ahead. So I thought I would try the technique where I would just have it a little bit up, a little bit of dark in there, cover that little fat pocket. Now I have to take my other fluff, fluff McGruff to blend. And I'm getting to where two colors are amazing, but I want a little bit, since these are a more matte, I want a little shimmer on my eyelid. I always like just a little shimmer. And I can clean that up if it seems too dark. All right, so I'm gonna go in with, ooh, how about this? It looks like it's a little sparkly here. Might be more up to place it where it's supposed to go. Just want a little shimmer, shimmer do. All right, now, I did not get a um, tight line for, um, from CoverGirl, I'm using this Rimmel. This thing is fabulous. You don't have to watch me put it on. You've seen me do it a million times. So I'll put this on and be right back. Okay, got my Rimmel on. That stuff is amazing, 597. I can go and it doesn't transfer right after I put it on. Looks, looks yummy. Um, I hope it doesn't look too bright up close. It does, but we'll get back and check it. All right, next I have I got Cover Girls. I better get the Simply Ageless Lash Plumping Mascara. It's a primer and serum mascara. Three in one. All right. Let's check this brush out. Oh, it's, oh, it's fluffy, huh? Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it brings some, my lashes to life. Look, look, look. Oh. Here. Okay. Oh, good. Look at that. I added a dot up there. Be perfect for which look. And I'll try the other side. Doesn't look like I'm gonna need a a lot of coats. You know, it's very very fluffy, and it brings all those little tiny lashes to life. Hmm. Okay, I think I like it. I think I like it. I think I like it. Who remembers the Partridge family? I love that short. Okay, there. All right, now I need to clean up. That's when the Simply Ageless Primer, <laughs> I always try, Triple Action Concealer, Deep Puffs, and, oh, that's, that's not a brush. Okay, so it's just a little tiny thing. And I got it in Buff Beige, which is just a little bit lighter than what I had before. And then I take my little um, e.l.f. sponge and color it in, color it in, color correct it. I love, I love sponges. Oh, this isn't too bad. I always worry it's going to look cakey. Okay. Hmm, not too bad. i got to take my Fluff Fluff McGruff again. Just kind of work on the end. Hmm. What do you think, ladies? Ah. Too much? Not enough? Hmm. All right, that was the concealer. Next up, I got myself a really pretty blush. 
Um, and this one, I had the, I have the information right there, is in Soft Mink. It's their classic color. Oh. <laughs> Pretty color, isn't it? Mm. All right. I will take my Ipsy blush brush and go to town. Ooh. Now this is like, it's very pigmented, so you don't need much. Doesn't look like it would be, but it is. Ooh, that might be a little too dark to wipe it off. And I might have went up too high. You just don't know. Oh. Okay. That is a fall color. But it looks a lot lighter than than when it, how it goes on. Okay. All right. That's pretty. Then the next... I need to powder. I probably should have powdered before, but I really don't need to powder because I'm not shiny. But I did buy this CoverGirl Simply Ageless uh, Translucent Setting Powder. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, and you know, to try to make you look not glowy or shiny. So I'd say I really don't need a lot. I do have some shine right there. Hmm. Put under my eyes to keep the concealer from setting. Okay. Say it's setting powder. All right. Okay. It's supposed to hide your your age spot. It's supposed to hide your fine lines and wrinkles. Blur them. Okay. That looked kind of nice. What do you think? All right. I'm, I need a haircut really bad. My hair is just not cooperating. All right. Next. I have, okay, ah, ah, this lip tint. Now this is in color, let's see. See, I can't memorize. Memorize, this is Outlast All Day New Neutrals Lip Color Dusty Blush, okay? So you put the tint on first and have your lips clean with not, no other products on them. And then you go like a so. And it's a tint, and I hear it stays really well, so you gotta get it, you know, try to get it on correctly. So, you know what might be a good idea is my um, lip brush. Oh, that's a. Neutrally color. I'm not supposed to touch my lips together. This is lighter than I usually go. But I thought I'd go wait 60 seconds. I could have used a lip liner first. Okay, so this is supposed to give you some shine. It's very, very nuded, nuded. Since I was going for a fall look, I decided to, you know, to go with the, the fallish lips. Might not be enough color for me, but for this look, I'll let it go. What do you think, ladies? Don't look at the hair, just look at the face. I like it, I like it. I could use, as I said, a little more fall color on my lips. Let's see if I have one. The one nice thing about this, though, is that it will, even if I use the lipstick on it, it when it, if it comes off, then it will um, still have some color. Okay. Probably should have did more lip color before I used the balm. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Now this is a little bit better for me. This color, this is by Milani. Teddy Bear, number 29. That's better. All right, I'll be right back with all my pretties on. Okay, ladies, this is my fall look from CoverGirl. What do you think? Oh, I just love the makeup. This is just lovely. It's very uh, hydrating um, and it's matte. 
I love their CoverGirl uh, powder. It, it does blur the lines. Their um, blush was lovely too. Um, I don't know. You have to tell me what you think. The, the mascara was wonderful. I love that. Um, so far, I'm just loving all the brands I'm trying. Do you have another brand or a comparison you'd like me to do? I am going to do a makeup comparison and see which one is the winner. And I need for you to help me. So when that comes, I'll let you know. All right, everybody, be wild and crazy. Let's go out and be folly. Okay, see ya.